After COVID-19 caused their original plans to shift, Grand Rapids Art Gallery had to rethink its day-long art festivals planned all throughout the city. 13 On Your Side's Emma Nicholas explains what you can expect from After Dark GR. Every color, every stroke is a form of expression. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a shy person. I don't like to talk to people, and this is the way that I speak. Guillermo Sotelo has been a graffiti writer for over a decade. Once I actually discovered that it was there was a culture behind it, that there was a whole art form dedicated to it, it just took off. A culture he's now trying to bring to the rest of the city with this legal graffiti wall. Through After Dark, with After Dark, we're able to bring graffiti out into the public, uh, put it in front of people and just let them know, hey, there's not a stigma behind it. It's not a terrible thing. This is just another art medium and just another way for us to express ourselves. The wall off Plainfield Avenue in Creston is just one of over 30 public spaces that local artists are activating through After Dark GR. It's a public art project happening in five different neighborhoods with the work of over 40 artists. Hannah Berry, owner of Lions and Rabbits Art Gallery, founded After Dark. It's a new started thing that will hopefully become something bigger in which we can continue just to sustain real jobs out of public art. The idea to hold day-long events in each neighborhood shifted due to the pandemic. We have two games. One is an actual board game that you can take home. And that game is the game of life, but Grand Rapids style. So you'll be winding in and out of the city. The other game will be a digital guide to experience the art. Both launch on September 12th. Barry says the goal is to improve the city. Like there's no better way for me than to use art to do that. Something that Sotelo says he's already seen take place. It's amazing. It's been nothing but positive. Um, just getting people out to paint in the public that maybe they wouldn't have done it before uh, had this wall not been here. In Grand Rapids, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.